And in other news this morning, fire shutting down a popular diner in South Philadelphia. That's right. Flames broke out at the Melrose Diner during the dinner rush. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live at the diner in South Philadelphia with more. Good morning, Trang. Hey, good morning, Jim and Janelle. I have to say, it's pretty odd to see the Melrose Diner closed. It is one of the few 24-hour diners left in the city, and it's usually only closed on Christmas. But take a look. I'll show you where the fire originated, right in this corner of the diner here. You can see it doesn't look like much damage, but it was definitely enough to shut this diner down for, at the very least, several days. It's a mess. It's a mess. Fire broke out at the Melrose Diner, a South Philadelphia institution since the 1950s, right at dinner time Wednesday. There was few people inside, quite a few people. You know, it's right dinner time, six o'clock. I was having like a panic attack because I've been in a house fire, so it's like scary for me. You know, I just wanted to stop it. Waitress Paige Clark was the first to notice the smoke coming out of a vent on the outside of the iconic diner. I look under the vent, and there was like a plastic thing on fire, so we start pouring water on it but then it kept smoking like building so then like me and all the cooks started like getting buckets of water and pouring it like all over the wall like anywhere we can put it with the situation worsening an employee called 911 all of the staff and customers got out safely before firefighters took over Melrose regulars like Mary Brumbaugh and her 91 year old husband stopped by to check on their beloved diner upon hearing the news. I can imagine what it looked like. My daughter called me, she said, You're not at Melrose, are you? I said, No. She thought I was having dinner here. And then we came. Owner Michael Petrogiannis says the fire appeared to be caused by an electrical issue. I'm going to try to fix it as soon as possible. And here's another live look at the damage left behind here at the Melrose Diner. You can see that the fire department still has parts of the diner taped off. Now, despite all of this damage that you see here, the owner actually has a really ambitious timeline. He hopes to have this diner reopened in just about a week. But for now, we're live from South Philadelphia. I'm trying to CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim and Janelle, back to you. I'm sure his customers are happy to hear that. Thank you, Trey.